it is for me the the attitude of custodianship to to serve to serve not only our land but to serve like the whole village so that yeah. everybody there says oh it's so nice that you are here because now that you are here things are different than before you were not here from Uluwatu in the south of Bali staying here for a week because Leo's mommy is living here and yeah it feels good it feels good to know not put him in this one week one week container we always need to adapt to new people but to come here with him too so I'm gonna pick Leo up soon last night he spent with with Elena uh, today is an exciting day we are welcoming Two beautiful co-creators, Robin and Anastasia. They arrived yesterday, late in the evening, and exploring today what kind of magic we want to create together. So, let's go. Mama! Yeah, Mama is there, right? you mentioned right now that we are doing frequent uh, circles or uh, workshops or whatever where everyone is invited to join and at the same time there is mm -hmm. the community that stays that mm -hmm. is uh, committed to to be in this container and stay mm -hmm. there but at the same time it's open and dynamic that everyone yeah. up from the outside is also every time welcome to yeah. to join the spirit yeah just not live there it's, it's so nice that you asked that because uh, this was my process of yesterday evening I, th oh. I, I thought a lot about that and um, where I'm currently at is that the land is the I would say the the center of the community mm -hmm. the main the main meeting place so to say but um, it cannot be limited to just the land. What f for me Custodia means is to build a network of places that together form like an, 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 an organism. And this is for me the, the attitude of custodianship to, to serve, to serve not only our land, but to serve like the whole village so that yeah. everybody there says, Oh, it's so nice that you are here because now that you are here things are different than before you were not here I think this definitely must be the goal and not just like put up the fences everywhere and do something nice at our place but um, really have an impact on the on the on the whole area and at the same time use the whole area for for what we are doing like for the food or for the transport or for the construction or whatever everyone who's coming and going bring in new vibrations of course this yeah. is I, I i hear out that this is yeah. wanted from your side as well to to see also new perspectives and in the same um at the same time it will be let's say an less an intimate an less intimate maybe the thing is what i learned from our thrive villages is that it's not a wise uh, decision to move into a full-time committed community with people whom you don't really know. Mm -hmm. Things take time.
Ajayama to new co-creators joining <laughs> and we <laughs> made a deep dive into the essence of Custodia. What is this place? What can this place be? And for me a fundamental assumption is that it's not just the place. It's an ecosystem, it's a network, it's a hub that consists of many different places that are not ours. But coming from this place, we ensure that we actually bring tangible value into the whole area and not just build fences around our property and do something nice there. Much <laughs> least Yeah. <sighs> Big steps ahead. <laughs> Big steps ahead, friends. And the, like the, the crux is that the broader the perspective is from, from which you are um, building, the more difficult things are. It's super easy to buy a land, make a concrete foundation, build something nice and rent it for a lot of money. That's fast and that's easy. And what we are doing is tricky and challenging and yeah the stuff <laughs> for pioneers and things like that take more time and more consideration and that's why it's impo so important to enjoy the journey every step of it mm. enjoy the unknown enjoy the take pleasure in exploring what is not clear right now yeah. being in it not for the destination but for the path because the path brings everything out inside myself that wants to be brought out my deepest potential I feel it <laughs> Ja, aber jetzt filmt er jetzt nicht so. Oh wow! Willst du es machen? Nein! Super weise. Anastasia die Verantwortung. Genau. So machen wir es. Wir haben vorhin schon den Pakt geschlossen, dass wenn wir. Ohne hab ich schon erzählt. Hast du schon erzählt? Ja, aber ich wusste nicht, dass ich damit zu tun habe, weil sie hat gesagt, in eurem... Ja, jetzt, aber du arbeitest ja jetzt hier mit, hat meine Mama, meine Mama gesagt. Oh, da, da haben wir wieder das gesagt, Wort. Gesagt, du bist die Mama von Echt jetzt? Ja, ich habe mich ja so gut versteht. Ja. Ich guck, siehst du, ja. hast du gleich zwei neue Jobs? Ja. The, the content you put out there is not mainstream. But the way you put it out there is mainstream accessible because you're making a lot of jokes, you're very you're very like approachable, you're making it's not like hmm hmm I'm gonna present But you are like this, no. 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 Yeah. But my content I put out there is even less okay, mainstream okay. accessible. Mm -hmm. Um but you're more like I think people can identify themselves with you. Because you're sharing like very authentically your struggles and what is going on, and do that in a in a very, I would say, accessible way. Okay. Yeah. And I think that's something good. You 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 take that as something negative, but actually that's a that's a huge potential. Yeah. Because not many people can can bridge this gap. We need like. Uh, like Laura Zeller is very good at bridging this gap because she's very mainstream accessible too although her content is like she's not mainstream as a person it's very accessible and that's why she's having a lot of success and people like Joe Dispenza is not mainstream although they are talking about the same same things but he's putting it out there in a, in a different way mm -hmm. so that mainstream people are like okay what the fuck is he talking about people don't understand that and that's good like everybody is on their on their paths but uh, it will be very easy for Laura to have a bigger audience than Joe Dispenza. Mm -hmm. Although he's probably more advanced in the topics. And because he's more advanced and he's speaking in crazy language, yeah, he's not <laughs> mainstream accessible and Laura is. 
Ja, ich möchte natürlich was sagen, aber ja, ich darf ja, ja nicht meiner Sprache sprechen. Ach, meine Sprache. Ja. Du kannst, wir, ja. wir können auch, ich kann auch auf Englisch sprechen, du sprichst das auf Deutsch. Richtig. Und dann untertitel mir deinen. Aber nee, nee, du kannst ja, das muss ja jetzt gar nicht da sein, weil ich möchte jetzt klatschen und das möchte ich ja nicht im Internet haben. Ja, aber Laura Marlina Seiler ist ja, ja nicht mein, also es ist nicht mein Mensch, muss ja. ich sagen. Ist ja auch nicht jeder, der Mainstream ist, ist ja auch nicht gleich. Genau, aber genau. das ist so. Du bist halt ein bisschen mehr so Ghetto. Ja, auch oder? das hast doch. du noch gesagt. Nee, ist doch so. Sie ist, wow. sie ist doch viel mehr. Oh, sie mein, die ist so. Oh, yeah, 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 genau. Yeah. She's more like yeah. the, the fairy. Yeah. And you are more like in your face. Ja. <lacht> <lacht> yeah. yeah. uh, uh, you are more like um, Caroline Kebekus. Wow. Immer diese Vergleiche. But that's, this is. Yes, of dadurch course. kann man es greifen. Ja. Yeah. Aber halt nicht. Ja. Ja, okay, danke. That's good. Yeah. That's your, your game. And you are like where? Like nobody. Like no? Genau, das ist klar. <lacht> you are like this, this and this. Das ist mein. Wie sieht das jetzt hier lecker aus? Cool, ne? So. wird total deutlich, dass unsere große Aufgabe ist, es, unsere, unsere Umgebung so sensibel zu wählen, weil wenn ich das Produkt meiner Umgebung bin, dann gibt es nichts Wichtigeres als die Umgebung, in die ich mich hineinplatziere. Die Dinge, die uns umgeben, die nicht menschlicher Natur sind, alles was hier ist, hat einen Impact auf mich. Wir werden am Ende zu dem, was wir kollektiv im Außen designt haben. Und dazu mag ich uns im ersten Step einladen, auf eine kleine Reise mitzukommen. Dazu werden wir gleich die Augen schließen und ähm, werden ein paar Minuten in eine andere Welt gehen. Powerful Custodia Preneur Session. Hmm. We talked about the the power of our living circumstances and how they shape us what we talked about in yesterday's yesterday's episode yeah we are a different person when we are at a different place this literally is fact not in a sense of we fly to the other side of the planet to thailand to australia to bali to whatever and then everything is beautiful and everything is perfect for all all the time no but we are a different person in a different environment this opened up quite a lot hmm. inside of the custodians deep process deep deep process there's always this voice inside ourselves that tells us after we've we we had a taste we had a glimpse of what might be possible like we had a visit in a place that was really close to our hearts we were at a retreat we did the word travel like whatever and afterwards we come back and then there's this voice inside ourselves that tells us like okay how can i bring this into my current reality but the truth is you cannot you were a different person when you were on this adventure and it's impossible to bring exactly the same into your current reality our, 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 our spaces that we inhabit shape us We are the product of our environments. And this realization like, is one of the strongest drivers for building Custodia, for creating a place that really changes human beings. And I think this has a so much greater effect than any kind of coaching setting I can create. I, I've been a coach for the past 11 years now and still with everything I learned I'm like this small compared to the transformative potential of a well-designed space right now we are I don't know around 100 people one here there 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 and The strength of a community is determined by how many links you have with other people inside the community. 
Like if you're just there and you don't know anybody and you didn't have any conversation with anybody, you're just a dot that is not connected to anybody else and it's not, not a community. Mm -hmm. And imagine you are there and you have like one connection with another person with whom you had a conversation in a, in a live sharing call or you shared something in the group and somebody said, wow, that was meaningful to me. Thank you for sharing that. There's one little, little connection. Mm -hmm. And if all the 100 people have zero connection or just one, it's not really a web. It's like, here's something, there's something, there's something. Here's a person just alone. Here's a person just alone. It's like, it's not a community. But if imagine if every one of those 100 people is like connected to five other people. Yeah, yeah. And everybody then it's like a web and then it's then it's then it's really powerful and, and the beauty is uh, like the group in Poland they already have that they are like I see that when you see the, the web of the 100 people there's like a Poland group one two three four five six seven people they are all connected to each other and the the, the invitation that we now have is how can we use these strong bonds that the Custodia Poland people already have with each other and integrate that into the bigger online community. If the web is already strong, it's super easy for a new person to be like assimilated by the web. Like imagine if there's a party and everybody is just like standing in the corner, mm -hmm. checking their phone and nobody's talking to each other. And then you come into the party, you're like, oh, okay, weird, what can I do? I don't know, nobody is having a conversation. But if everybody in the party is already connected to each other and here are people talking and here's a room and whatever, then it's so easy. You're just standing in the door, somebody sees you and say like, oh, come, have a seat, join us. And you, you're, already, you're already a part of that because the energy is already so strong. And that's why I think it's, it's important for us to in the beginning really check in who is, a, is an, a, like which people are in alignment with the spirit that we want to have in the community and maybe start with a lower amount of people but all of them are like hand selected from us so that we know this is already good foundation and they can assimilate more and more people but for now i have the feeling that the telegram group is a little bit it, of course it's selected by custodianship and still i feel it's a little bit too random i think there are 113 members in the group right now i would say i probably know 70 percent of them Mm. Probably around 70%, but the re remaining 30%, I don't know. And I think it would be really powerful to say like, okay, hey, who are you, Steffi? I don't know. I don't know. And probably Steffi knows, doesn't know anybody else in the group. So it would be really powerful for you to say, hey, Steffi, you're part of the group. Um, let's have a quick conversation. Like, let's have a chat for 10 minutes. And you talk to Steffi, and if you sense, wow, uh, Steffi is really, uh, really a good fit for the for the group. Um, she already has one connection with you. Mm -hmm. And if you sense, oh wow, Steffi is not really a good fit for the group, we'll remove her from the group. Mm. So that after this process, either through me knowing the person or through you having a conversation with the person, we know all the. 57, whatever, 89, 94 people who are in the group um, are hand selected and we can like start this process and form, facilitate the forming of those connections. Two points I would say yeah. for me. First is the question to myself, who am I to decide yeah. whether or not you are on the way of custodianship yeah. or not? Yeah. It feels to me like the risk of creating a boomerang. It's like, um, now we invited all the people in mm -hmm. to be part of the group mm -hmm. and then oh we suddenly realized ah actually we haven't done a good onboarding for this group and now we need to kick out people because it's like the party got went into a mess yeah. i have an idea what do you think about this um every person that was not in the beginning um hand selected by me that i really know that they are on their path of custodianship mm -hmm. like the i don't know 38 people who are currently in the group who nobody knows who have probably zero connections in the group not even with me because i don't know them what if we invite all of them into a call or in a, into a series of calls mm -hmm. and say like hey somehow you are part of the group we don't know you we want to get to know you and then we're doing whatever we want to do we can plan 
and then after these calls we see who was a, who was a part of that and who, who wasn't nice. and the people who were not coming and we don't know them yeah. and they have zero connection and they obviously don't uh, are not interested in forming more connections yeah, yeah. we kick them out and the people who came and we feel like wow we didn't knew you but absolutely amazing that you're here they stay so that we start an onboarding process for the strangers we currently have and see yeah. if they take it or if they don't take it. Yeah, that sounds, that sounds good to me. Is it good? Yeah, that resonates. I think this would be super powerful yeah. for the people who are already there and who are already committed that they know after this process went through, like we can all march in the same direction. Yeah, yeah. Good. Cool. Good one. I love that. <laughs> good one. I love that. I love that. I think that's very, very important for the Telegram group. All right, friends. Already quite late. Bedtime now. <laughs> Very happy to be able to start this new chapter here in the vlog with the addition of Anastasia to the team, with a person who is capable of capturing the like the many, many, many ordinary day-to-day -day moments that are taking place, that are together comprising my life that before I was not able to share because I was not, like I couldn't be the protagonist and the, the videographer at the same time. And that's why many, many, many things that I would have loved to share, I was not able to share. And now I am because she's here. So. So looking forward to all the magic that will be created in the future. Of course, we will need a little bit of time to transition and to like onboard her fully and to develop a nice workflow. And yeah, so over the next couple of videos, we will probably see a quite steep um, learning curve and yeah, improvement. Hmm. Very excited for that. If you feel the calling to share something regarding today's topics, I'd love to hear from you either in the YouTube comments down there or on Instagram. Hmm. See you tomorrow. Cheers from Bali, from our little co-creator Villa here in the south. Next week we'll be again at home, close to the land. Looking forward to that. Bye-bye. Hmm.